fricatives are consonants produced by forcing air through a narrow channel made by placing two articulators close together. These may be the lower lip against the upper teeth, in the case of F. The back of the tongue against the soft palate, in the case of German, X, the final consonant of bark. Or the side of the tongue against the molars, in the case of Welsh, E, appearing twice in the name Lanethli. This turbulent air flow is called frication. A particular subset of fricatives are the sibilants. When forming a sibilant, one still is forcing air through a narrow channel, but in addition, the tongue is curled lengthwise to direct the air over the edge of the teeth. English, S, Z, E florin, and, E are examples of this. Two other terms are spirant and strident, but their usage is less standardized. The former can be used synonymously with fricative, or to refer to non-sibilant fricatives only. The latter can be used synonymously with sibilant, but some authors include also labiodental, lateral or uvular fricatives in the class. Types Equals sibilants equals, s, voiceless coronal sibilant, as in English sip, z, voiced coronal sibilant, as in English zip, say one quarter ejective coronal sibilant, C voiceless dental sibilant, xi voiced dental sibilant, C voiceless apical sibilant, xi voiced apical sibilant, C voiceless post alveolar sibilant, xi voiced post alveolar sibilant, E florin voiceless palato alveolar sibilant, as in English ship, E voiced palato alveolar sibilant, as the S in English vision, E voiceless alveolopalatal sibilant, E voiced alveolopalatal sibilant. E voiceless retroflex sibilant, E voiced retroflex sibilant, all sibilants are coronal, but may be dental, alveolar, post alveolar, or palatal within that range. However, at the post alveolar place of articulation, the tongue may take several shapes domed, laminal, or apical, and each of these is given a separate symbol and a separate name. Prototypical retroflexes are subapical and palatal but they are usually written with the same symbol as the apical post alveolars. The alveolars and dentals may also be either apical or laminal, but this difference is indicated with diacritics rather than with separate symbols. Equals central non-sibilant fricatives equals, e, voiceless bilabial fricative, i squared voiced bilabial fricative, f, voiceless labiodental fricative, as in English fine, v, voiced labiodental fricative, as in English fine, I I one quarter voiceless lingual labial fricative, a degree I one quarter voiced lingual labial fricative, I, I I voiceless dental non sibilant fricative, as in English thing, a degree, a degree I voiced dental non sibilant fricative, as in English that, I I, E to the first I ish voiceless alveolar non sibilant fricative, a degree I, E to the first I, voiced alveolar non sibilant fricative, re ish. Voiceless trilled fricative, revoiced trilled fricative, a section voiceless palatal fricative, e, voiced palatal fricative, x, voiceless velar fricative, e pound voiced velar fricative, e section voiceless palatal velar fricative, i, voiceless uvular fricative, a section voiceless pharyngeal fricative. The IPA also has letters for epiglottal fricatives, e o voiceless epiglottal fricative, e sent voiced epiglottal fricative with allophonic trilling, but these might be better analyzed as pharyngeal trills. Equals lateral fricatives equals, e voiceless dental lateral fricative, e registered trademark i, voiced dental lateral fricative, e, voiceless alveolar lateral fricative, e registered trademark voiced alveolar lateral fricative, e voiceless post alveolar lateral fricative, e lambda or, e, voiceless retroflex lateral fricative, e i lambda or, Eish voiceless palatal lateral fricative, Eish voiceless velar lateral fricative, Eli voiced velar lateral fricative. The lateral fricative occurs as the LL of Welsh, as in Lloyd, Llewellyn, and the town of Machynlith, as the unvoiced HL and voiced DL or DHL in the several languages of southern Africa, and in Mongolian. Equals IPA letters used for both fricatives and approximants equals, E, voiced uvular fricative, E. Voiced pharyngeal fricative, no language distinguishes voiced fricatives from approximants at these places, so the same symbol is used for both. For the pharyngeal, 
approximants are more numerous than fricatives. A fricative realization may be specified by adding the uptack to the letters, ei, ei. Likewise, the downtack may be added to specify an approximant realization, ei, ei. The bilabial approximant and dental approximant do not have dedicated symbols either and are transcribed in a similar fashion, I squared I, a degree I. However, the base letters are understood to specifically refer to the fricatives. Equals pseudo fricatives equals H, voiceless glottal transition, as in English hat, E breathy voiced glottal transition. In many languages, such as English, the glottal fricatives are unaccompanied phonation states of the glottis, without any accompanying manner, fricative or otherwise. However, in languages such as Arabic, they are true fricatives. In addition, E is usually called a voiceless labial velar fricative, but it is actually an approximant. True doubly articulated fricatives may not occur in any language. But see voiceless palatal velar fricative for a putative example. Equals aspirated fricatives equals, fricatives are very commonly voiced, though cross-linguistically voiced fricatives are not nearly as common as tenui fricatives. Other phonations are common in languages that have those phonations in their stop consonants. However, phonemically aspirated fricatives are rare. Say degree contrasts with s in Korean. Aspirated fricatives are also found in a few Sino Tibetan languages, in some Oto Manguean languages, and in the Syrian language Ofo. The record may be Kone Tibetan, which has four contrastive aspirated fricatives, and Equals nasalized fricatives equals, phonemically nasalized fricatives are rare. Some South Arabian languages have, Umbundu has, and Kwingali and Saulet in Basque have. In quote Zespa mixed ek, I squared I florin, a degree I florin, C florin, E florin I florin appear allophonically before a nasal vowel, and an Ebo nasality is a feature of the syllable. When slash f v s z e florin e slash occur in nasal syllables they are themselves nasalized. Languages, h is not a fricative in English. Ubik may be the language with the most fricatives, some of which do not have dedicated symbols or diacritics in the IPA. This number actually outstrips the number of all consonants in English. By contrast, approximately 8.7% of the world's languages have no phonemic fricatives at all. This is a typical feature of Australian Aboriginal languages, where the few fricatives that exist result from changes to plosives or approximants, but also occurs in some indigenous languages of New Guinea and South America that have especially small numbers of consonants. However, whereas, H, is entirely unknown in indigenous Australian languages, most of the other languages without true fricatives do have, H, in their consonant inventory. Voicing contrasts and fricatives are largely confined to Europe, Africa, and Western Asia. Languages of South and East Asia, such as the Dravidian and Austronesian languages, typically do not have such voiced fricatives as Z and V, which are familiar to many European speakers. These voiced fricatives are also relatively rare in indigenous languages of the Americas. Overall, Voicing contrasts and fricatives are much rarer than in plosives, being found only in about a third of the world's languages as compared to 60% for plosive voicing contrasts. About 15% of the world's languages, however, have unpaired voiced fricatives, that is a voiced fricative without a voiceless counterpart. Two-thirds of these, or 10% of all languages, have unpaired voiced fricatives but no voicing contrast between any fricative pair. This phenomenon occurs because voiced fricatives have developed from lenition of plosives or fortition of approximants. This phenomenon of unpaired voiced fricatives is scattered throughout the world, but is confined to non-sibilant fricatives with the exception of a couple of languages that have e but lack e florin. The fricatives that occur most often without a voiceless counterpart are, in order of ratio of unpaired occurrences to total occurrences, e, i squared, a degree, e, and E pound. See also, apical consonant, hush consonant, laminal consonant, list of phonetics topics. References. External links, fricatives in English.